Hello and welcome to Learn It All. In the previous video, we saw how to host a static website on AWS using Elastic Beanstalk. And in this video, we're going to learn how to host a dynamic website using Elastic Beanstalk. So let's go ahead and get into Elastic Beanstalk. And we can click on create a new environment. And pick web server environment. Give a name to the application. I'm just going to say dynamic website. Environment name. We'll leave that alone. Uh, give a name to the website. That's going to be the domain name. And that's what we're going to be accessing to view the website. You can click to check availability. Um, you can write a description if you want. Okay, now it's time to select a platform. Okay. So these are the options available. So I have my dynamic website hosted locally on my computer and running from a Tomcat 8.5 version. And what you're looking at um, is an ID is an ID and uh, it could be any ID but I'm using Eclipse and what you're looking at on the left hand side is the project folder and this is a Java project and the project is running locally on Tomcat server. And that is the website that I'm running locally right now. The Tomcat server is running on port 8080. Now this is the website that we want to host on AWS. The first thing that we need to do is right click on the project and export WAR file. I'm just going to put it on my desktop. I'm going to name it dynamic website and save finish. That's going to create a WAR file for the project. Now let's go back to AWS and now we know that the platform is Tomcat and it automatically selected Tomcat 8.5 with Java 8 running on 64-bit Amazon Linux. We don't need to change that version that's the best recommended and then we need to click on upload your code and that's where we need to upload the WAR file that we just created and I put it on my desktop so I'm gonna pick that dynamic website and Open is uploading the WAR file to AWS. Configure more options. Let's go there. And always make sure that the single instance is selected. That's going to be free. Anything else, you might get charged. Uh, for the rest, we can leave it alone for now and click on Create Environment. Now that is going to take a while to create the environment and the EC2 instance required for the website. Okay, seems like the WAR file was successfully uploaded and let's go ahead and look at the website now. Congratulations, your dynamic website is now up and running on AWS. That is it for today, guys. See you in the next video. And don't forget to like, subscribe and click the bell icon for instant notification on new videos.